hello guys and welcome to this channel programming fever so in this video i will show you how you can install python latest version that is python 3.9.7 so first you have to come on this website python.org then move your mouse onto this download button and then click on this python 3.9.7 so you can see it is started here After download, open this file and then double click here. And now add this Python 3.9 to the path. Remember, if you will not add this path, then after installation, you will get one error that is Python is not recognized as internal and external command. So make sure that you tick this option. Okay, now after this, click on this install now button. Now you can see setup was successful. So our installation is complete. Click on this close button. Now to check the Python is installed correctly or not into your system. Click here and search CMD. Open this command prompt and then type Python. So here you can see Python 3.9.7 and this Python shell is open here. Now if you will get an error like python is not recognized as internal or external command then that mean your python environment variable is not set up correctly. So in that case you can search here environment variable, open this, edit the system environment variable, click here and then search here path. So for me it is already set. So if you will get any error, then you can give this path. Okay. Now let me show you by running Python code here. Like I will write print hello world. Okay. So you can see it is printing hello world. Now instead of this command prompt, you can also use ideally. It is automatically installed with the Python installation. Click here and you can check the python version here also and I will write print statement here print hello world ok now if you want to write the long program then you can create a file here click here file and then new now here you can write the long programs like suppose if you want to write a program for a loop then you can use for i in range 5 and then print hello world and then save this file you can also save this file by click here file and then save save your file here i am saving with the name test and then click here run and then run module this so you can see it is printing hello world five times so if you want to check for any one line of the code then you can use this ideally separately and if you want to write the long code or more than two or three line of code then you can use this file 
So that's it for this video. If this video helps you, then hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thanks for watching.